Hello, welcome to our new series. That's X A Zarapi M C Q. As you all know, the explanations will be given in the description box, and detailed explanation will be given given inside the Telegram channel. So let's do not waste much time. Let's move to question number one. Manual stretching is contraindicated in option A, bony block; option B, hematoma; option C, functional contracture; option D, all of the above. And the answer is option D, all of the above. Question number two. Manual stretching is contraindicated in option A, hypermobility; option B, acute inflammation; option C, acute infection; option D, all of the above. And the answer is option D, all of the above. Now let's move to question number three. Thomas test is one of the indication of option A, fixed adduction deformity of hip; option B, fixed abduction deformity of hip; option C, fixed flexion deformity of hip; option D, fixed flexion deformity of knee. And the answer is option C, fixed flexion deformity of hip. Now let's move to question number four. Pump handle movement is a feature of option A, ribs; option B, vertebra; option C, skull; option D, hand. And the answer is option A, ribs. Now let's move to question number five. Berg's balance scale maximum score is option A, sixty-four; option B, sixty; option C, fifty-six; option D, fifty-two. And the answer is fifty-six. Now let's move to question number six. Manual stretching is indicated in option A, decreased range of motion; option B, before vigorous physical activity; option C, muscle tightness; option D, all of the above. And the answer is option D, all of the above. Now let's move to question number seven. Manual muscle stretching is indicated in limitation that could cause option A, skeletal or structural deformity; option B, functional muscle tightness; option C, interference with ADLs or mobility; option D, all of the above. And the answer is option D, all of the above. Now let's move to question number eight. Archimedes explained dash property of water: option A, buoyancy; option B, hydrostatic pressure; option C. Viscosity. Option D. Hydrodynamics. And the answer is option A. Buoyancy. Now let's move to question number nine. Voluntary control for balance is maintained by dash pathway. Option A. Cortical. Option B. Subcortic. Option C. Brainstem. Option D. None of the above. And the answer is option A. Cortical. Now let's move to question number ten. Selective stretching is indicated in option A. Stroke. Option B. Cerebral palsy. Option C. Spinal cord injury. Option D. All of the above. And the answer is option D. All of the above. Now let's move to question number eleven. Aerobic exercise provide the muscles with more dash. Option A. Oxygen. Option B. Water. Option C. Calorie. Option D. All of the above. And the answer is option A. Oxygen. Now let's move to question number twelve. Progressive resistance training. Ten RM. Regime can be calculated by. Option A, Del Rome's regime. Option B, Oxford regime. Option C, none of the above. Option D, both A and B. And the answer is option D, both A and B. Now let's move to question number thirteen. One MET equals dash. Option A, three point five ml kilogram per minute. Option B, three point five liter kilogram per minute. Option C, three point five liter mg per minute. Option D, three point five ml per mg per minute. And the answer is option A, three point five ml per kg per minute. Now let's move to question number forty. Average individual normal daily activities energy expenditure in a day is option A, eight hundred to one thousand two hundred kilocalories; option B, thousand to one thousand five hundred kilocalories; option C, one thousand two hundred to one thousand eight hundred kilocalories; option D, one thousand eight hundred to three thousand kilocalories. And the answer is option D, one thousand eight hundred to three thousand kilocalories. Now let's move to question number fifteen. Low intensity, long duration exercise is known as option A, aerobic exercises; option B, isometric exercises; option C, calisthenic exercises; option D, ballistic exercises. And the answer is option A, aerobic exercises. Now let's move to question number sixteen. Aerobic exercise is also known as option A cardio exercises, option B Cooper exercises, option C Kenneth Cooper exercises, option D none of the above. And the answer is option A cardio exercises. Now let's move to question number seventeen. Basically, aerobic exercise is option A freestyle aerobics, 
ऑप्शन बी स्पोर्ट्स एरोबिक्स ऑप्शन सी स्टेप एरोबिक्स ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द अब एंड आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द अब नाउ लेट्स मोर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन एज एडजस्टेड मैक्सिमल हार्ट रेट कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड बाय ऑप्शन ए मल्टी स्टेज टेस्टिंग ऑप्शन बी प्री डिटरमाइंड सब मैक्सिमल टेस्ट ऑप्शन सी टू ट्वेंटी माइनस एज ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द अब एंड आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द अब Now let's move to question number 90. Parameters for progressed closed kinematic chain exercise are option A body weight base of support balance option B support surface exclusion of limb movement plane option C none of the above option D all of the above and the answer is option D all of the above. Now let's move to question number 20. Muscle weakness or by doms may extend up to Option A, zero to seven days. Option B, five to ten days. Option C, ten to fourteen days. Option D, fourteen to eighteen days. And the answer is ten to fourteen days. So that's all for today. If you have any doubts, please do mention in the comment box. I have done it very fast, pretty pretty much basics and simple. So that's all. That's why uh, just go through it, and I will be back with part two soon. So wait for that. So we see you till then. Bye bye. Thank you.